Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this morning I've been trying to put together in my mind where I've been and what I've done and why I've done those things and where I am now. <clears throat> and, you know, for years I thought about what was up with society. And I'd seen documentaries on various civilizations that had risen and then fallen and why they fell, you know, whether it had, was like degradation of soil conditions or dictatorships that got toppled or whatever. And the current society that we live in right now is very, very yang, yang, very extreme for a lot of different reasons. Um, people want to be successful. People want to accomplish things. They want to outdo their neighbors. They want to buy things to show that they're bigger and better than their neighbors. They have created schools for people to go to to learn all of the things, so many things, various subjects, all different kinds of subjects in these colleges and universities and that has become a racket. And the car was invented, and the airplane was invented, and the computer was invented, and just all of these inventions were invented to be able to facilitate oh so many things that go fast. <laughs> and the computers keep getting faster. And because people have not evolved to be able to control and keep safe the environment, their lifestyles, um, so many different things that it's gotten to be unhealthy. And, you know, the, the lifespans have gotten higher and higher. But my prediction is that as long as they, that people continue to go at this pace, that they're just going to get lower and lower. And you see, instead of doing things right, like understanding when it's acceptable, you know, by using natural birth control and monitoring the woman monitoring and, and the man may be reminding her to monitor herself so that they know when to and when not to have sex. And then also just not enough uh, a discipline to be able to not have sex when it's not a good time. Then people do birth control, which is not healthy, you know. And maybe condoms are okay, but but birth control pills, that's not going to fly. And, so, and a lot of people don't do in, any of that either. And so a combination between a lust for sex and then not being able to control it leads to a massive overpopulation of people that don't know how to live good lifestyles, don't eat the right foods, eat processed foods and chemicals, etc., etc., etc. I mean, it just goes down the toilet from there. So, we all want to survive, and I'm no exception to that rule. So, what was I to do? I was wanting to figure out a way out. And... I was basically going to do whatever had to be done to find that little passage through the labyrinth to get the fuck out of there, that whole situation. And this is probably not the end. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if in 
five or ten or twenty years, I got to this point of where I said, okay, now it's time to go to a different country or whatever. And then eventually I'll be just like, I know, that I'll be like, okay, it's time to go to a new world. You know the deal. <laughs> eventually we have to go to another place. And some of you environmentalists are so, so worried about this world, you know, and I understand that and I do my best to uh, have the, a light footprint. But when it comes down to it, when you go outside at night on a very clear night, and you look up in the sky and you see all the stars, you know that there are other worlds out there. Hopefully you have that enough insight to understand that. And, um, and you know that this one is just a speck. Like, like that. It's just a speck that big in that huge universe. So, need you worry about death? No. But it's best to avoid pain. And in order to do that, you have to use all of what encompasses you. Your mind, your heart, your gut, your soul, your passion, your desires, uh, your groundedness to the earth, your voice to speak your mind, or your heart, or the other things. <laughs> And so here I am, out in the country, and it's a different world here. Listen. This is not the same world for me. Some people think about Eden. Some people believe that they can make their world like the Garden of Eden. You see pictures of people that live on islands, beautiful islands and blue lagoons. And you think to yourself, man, I like to live in that kind of a situation. Is it possible? Seems like I'm getting closer, doesn't it? So, in any case, I want to thank you for joining me. Be well.